Hey, what's up, Street Todd? Eric from the Street Photography Blog. So I just want to show you quickly how I import images into Lightroom. So first of all, I'll open up Lightroom. And you guys might not have seen, but I just plugged in my SD card for my Ricoh GR version 2. So click the little import button in the bottom left corner and make sure to select the correct SD card. And whenever I import images, this is what I make sure to do is um, on the far right corner where it says apply to import. I click that little arrow on the side and under develop settings, I choose my custom preset, which I can title it Air Kim Monochrome 1600. And I'll include a free link in case you want to download it. And so by default, Lightroom looks at all the photos that you probably haven't imported yet. And all you have to do is just click import. But for some reason, I'm having issues with my SD card where it's already re-importing photos that I've already shot. So I'll just kind of uncheck all and just import the ones that I know that I just shot recently. So I'm just going to left click here, scroll all the way down, hold shift, press the last image, click on one of the top left checkboxes, and just click import. And I'm shooting all these photos in raw and high contrast black and white on the back of my Ricoh GR version 2 camera. And you can see, um, generally if you just shoot raw and black and white high contrast, if you import your images, it'll turn back into color. So that's why it's very important to apply a standard black and white preset upon import. And that preset I included, it's, I think it's good on any camera really, but it's, I've just kind of made it for myself uh, for the Ricoh GR version 2. And Another pro tip I have is when you're looking through your images, a good way to test composition is just to press the L key twice to look at all the photos as a small thumbnail. And it could better help you determine compositions. So for example, this photo I shot of this kite, you can see this subtle little triangle here, and you can see the little white line. So I'll just click on this and I'll press P. And this is my new technique for just quickly looking through images and flagging them. And you could see even uh, this image here compared to this image here, you can see this triangle shape here and the triangle shape uh, in the opposite direction. So often I'm not sure which one will be best, so I'll just P a bunch of them. I took this from different angles, P that, uh, that photo. You can see some selfies I've shot myself. Let's say if I like this one that's a little out of focus, press P. Like this one of me looking to the camera, like this one me looking down, press P. And I'm just trying to simplify my workflow to make it as quick as possible. And you can see this little white triangle against the black background. I kind of like this photo, press P. And I'm just kind of looking at my images through small little thumbnails. And it's better not to get distracted. And I think if an image works well as a small thumbnail, it probably works best um, in terms of a big composition as well. And, um, let's see that scrolling down. And that's pretty much it. So I'll press L again to turn back on the lights. I press shift tab to collapse or expand all the sidebars. And in the bottom right corner where it says filter filters off, I'll click flagged. And I could quickly look through all my images. If I want to see a f image full screen, I press F to look at the images full screen. And I can use the left and right arrows to kind of look at my images a little bit more closely. And so you can see this image, it's got a stronger triangle composition than this image here. And so it's kind of nice when you're making images to work the scene and photograph from different angles. Uh, this image probably doesn't work because there's too much distractions in the background. So I'll press U to unpick the image. These selfies of me. This one, me looking into the camera is a bit boring. I'll press U to unpick. I like this one, me looking down is kind of uh, moody. This one of me out of focus is actually quite interesting. It's, totally wasn't on purpose. I, um, but often it's the, the mistakes which should make interesting photos. I kind of like that one too. This photo is kind of boring, so I'll press U. Press G to go back to gallery view. And once again, you can press L again twice to turn off the lights. And so based on these compositions, I could press E to enlarge. You can see here, there's too much uh, gray space in the bottom left corner, so I'll press U. Hmm. So even this photograph, to me, all these shapes here are a distraction. So I'll press U here. And I just kind of like the simplicity and minimalism in the shape. And you can see, uh, I went for the triangle composition here, try not to chop off the edges here. I'll press elegant to turn on the lights. And under exposure, I'll just 
minus it a bit. Plus it a bit. Yeah, I kind of like the, the details. If I want to make more micro tune adjustments, I'll either click develop or press the hotkey D to go under develop mode. And I'll drag this just a little bit. And there's really no signs behind that. I just kind of drag it till it looks, or looks good to me. Drag the highlights down a little bit more. Hmm. That looks pretty good to me. And you can see all these little um, kind of like thoughts in the background. Uh, to be honest, it doesn't bother me too much. So I'll just press G to go back to gallery view. I quite like this image. I'll press the hotkey 5 to 5 star it. And these two images are me. Me looking down and me looking to the lens. And they're both interesting. I'll keep them. And if I want to export the images, I'll press Command A to select all the images. Press the export button. And then uh, I usually use, I have a paid subscription to Dropbox to, to sync all my files. And so I'll make a new folder. I'll use the old folder, Hanoi version 35. Don't put it under a subfolder, and I rename it to Air Kim Black and White Hanoi, an original file number just for me to keep track. Uh, not going to resize it, keep it, keep it uh, quality 80, which is essentially the same as 100%, except the files are a lot smaller. Click Sharpen, click Export, and you could see under uh, now that Lightroom is going to start exporting the images. And it should be exporting it to this Hanoi version 35 folder. And now that images are exporting, you could either take the images and upload them to whatever, whatever site you want to use. Press the space bar key to enlarge it. Just press this to look at it big. And yeah, I quite, I quite like the image. It's, it's simple and elegant, and it's a, a photo of a kite I saw here in Hanoi. And just love the, the textures. I, I might have used the flash in this photo, I'm not, I'm not certain, but to me the, the kite is a metaphor for flying, flight, and to me it kind of looks like a phoenix that's you know, just discarded on the ground. So this photo is, is quite elegant. And um, I'll, uh, a cool new tool I, uh, I discovered, it's called Flume, F-L-U-M-E, and it's a tool that you could download in the, the Mac store and it's, it costs money, it's like 10 bucks, but I've been loving it because I've been using it to upload stuff to Instagram. Uh, my Instagram is at Eric Kim Photo and the hotkey to upload something is just press Command N and essentially I could just drag and drop images to make this process easy. So if I took this image, just dragged on here and I'll just tie to Hanoi 2017. and click post and it just makes the whole process easy and boom it's it's already on my Instagram and so once again this uh, this program flume you could just go to the app store on the Mac and download it I don't know if there's something like on Windows sorry for you guys for non Windows users or I could just use it to upload to any other social media platform that I like so if I just want to go Flickr.com slash upload. Same, same. I can just take the image, just drag in here, title it Hanoi 2017, include a link back to my blog. Just post that here. Add tags, black and white, Rico GR version 2, uh, triangle, kite, minimalism. Whatever. And one thing I like to do is upload my photos to the public domain. That means anyone could use it for whatever they wanted to do. And it kind of fits in with this philosophy I have of open source information, just keep everything open and free, and it's pretty much the anti copyright. So upload one image. You could upload that there. And yeah, so you could see how simple this whole process is for, for sharing images. And so I'm always trying to make my Lightroom process a little bit simpler. And I'll just keep making these videos and keeping you guys updated. And uh, if you guys want to learn more about Lightroom, just go on the Google search Eric Kim 
editing. And on my blog, I've done a lot of articles on the art of editing, which is choosing your best images. So you could just click the first link and you could download my free Lightroom presets, check out more of my Lightroom tutorials and editing articles. And if you want the preset, just Google Eric Kim presets. And it should be number one on Google for free presets. And you could just click the, the first link here to download it. Also, another pro tip, this is just going through Safari or your browser quickly. While holding Command, press Tab, so you could quickly go through all the tabs on your computer. And whenever I want to close a window quickly, I just press Command W to close these windows to make life simpler and more meaningless. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, peace out.